Hello and welcome to After Reviews in English, another TLDR look at what it is I've reviewed, where I force myself to say something good, something bad, what I think is the best and what I think is the worst, in a very abbreviated format, at least I try to. And today it's the Own or Aun S9C Pro. Now this DAC Camp combo was loaned to me directly by Own for me to try it out and share my opinions. Um, I'm nowhere affiliated with them. If you want to know more, check out the full review, which is linked in the description, or just head over to actreviews.com. Okay, so starting off with something good. Um, the build, the aesthetics, um, everything about this, in my personal opinion, is good. I mean, it's rather large. It's, it's a bit heavy, but it is well built and except for a little bit of a, a wobble on the knob, everything else just seems to be perfectly put together. It's sort of slanted on the sides, a bit of a curve on the top, and it breaks away from just a typical black box, but without being too extravagant, and I really am a fan. Um, something bad. Well, I guess that little wobble on the knob that I just mentioned, I mean, it's a very minor thing, and then it's actually a very nice knob, and the... the Feedback and everything is great, but it does wobble a little, and that's it's the only letdown in the whole build of this device, in my opinion. Um, the best. The best is that you just get literally everything you need, except for I2S. If you need I2S, then this doesn't have it. But for everything else, we've got uh, balanced outputs, unbalanced outputs, AES input, optical input, coax input, USB input, Bluetooth. Um, we've even got a 10M uh, clock input if you want to use an external clock. Um, it just has everything going on there that you might need, yet it's kept very simple as far as functionality. And all of this comes in for 749 in Europe, in Euros. I don't know the prices in the US, but in Europe it's 749 euros. And I was very surprised to, to find out the price after spending some time with this device. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot more expensive. So I would say the best is the performance, not just connectivity, but also the actual performance. It performs very well. Um, for that price, it's great. The worst, mm, I mean, there really is no worst. Maybe the fact that it's a bit big and a bit heavy. But again, this is going to be something that you just put on a desk and don't move. In fact, I think this would be great for a studio. Um, so really, as a worst, there isn't really one. I mean, I mean, if you're looking for something super ultra cheap for like a hundred euro mark, then the worst thing is going to be the price. But literally, for everything you get on this device, that price, I just really can't fault it. But anyway, I go into a lot more detail about how it works, what it sounds like, and all that kind of thing in the full review. So check it out if you're interested. Again, it's linked in the description or just head over to actualreviews.com. And I'll be back with another one soon. See you later.